Easy now and welcome. Today we're going to change the colour of the drone using this kit uh, that's available online. This isn't your normal kit that you get from China. This one is made by a company called Dankler Skins. Uh, a guy called Daniel. These are all custom cuts to be very, very precise and very, very neat. Uh, so we're going to get going. I've got a nice metallic red here. Um, but there's over 35 options, pretty much any colour you want, lots of different textures and patterns. The guy does a lot of stuff, there'll be a link in the description below for you to go and check it out for yourself. So we're going to get started. Uh, I'm going to wrap a battery first and we'll see how we get on. So there's the battery done. As you can see it's nicely cut out. Fits beautifully around there. Obviously you don't see the rest of the battery, that works out quite well, because I've got a label on the top. So yeah, looking good so far. Let's move on. Okay, so let's get on with it. In total in the kit there are 27 separate pieces that pretty much cover the whole of the drone, uh, and on the bottom side as well, uh, which a lot of kits don't do. And as I said, this one's been precision made and cut out to be really accurate and if you put it on right very very little in the way it seems showing um, to install it usual equipment make sure everything's clean first but I've got a little scalpel if I need to uh, get an edge up or something set of tweezers for any little small pieces I need to put position obviously some scissors to cut this out dust free cloth to make sure there's no dust on the part and a good old hair dryer if I need to do any bending but we shall see how we get on so, on to part one. These are parts one, two and three. Obviously this is the centre of the drone here. And obviously these are the two sides. And you'll notice there's a little relief cut just by the screw hole. So uh, you can get that angle nice. And get it flatted down nice. If my hands are able to do it, let's see. So here we are. like so, put the one on the top and one on the side. The best advice I can give you is take your time, go really slow. And remember you can stretch it out a little bit if you want and uh, try and cover up some of the seams. So there's that little cut there, the little relief cut, but I've sort of stretched it and butted it up as close as I can. The same with the seam down here. Rather than leaving a back black gap, I've uh, stretched it slightly so it covers it completely. Uh, as I said, it takes a few minutes, so don't rush it because you want it to look nice. Uh, let's get on, let's do the other side. And then we'll have a red case. So here we have the top shell with the canopy all completed. I've got to say I'm very impressed with the cutting uh, of the actual vinyl. It's uh, very well done, the fitment is very good. And uh, it's a good quality vinyl as well. You can stretch it and move it around without distorting it. Uh, so, so far, pretty good. I think part four is this top piece here. Let's go for that. That bit went on really super easy. Lined up the DJI logo, folded it over, lined, it up, lined up the holes. Covered perfectly. This is really, really well, well cut out. The next one covers on this arm here. And it's uh, this part here. I didn't bother showing you the one. I'll wait till I've done both of them. But uh, still very impressed with the way it's cut. Uh, and the way it joins together. On the actual seams of the plastic. Uh, it's looking pretty good at the moment. Let's carry on and do the front arms. Here we are looking very snazzy indeed. Uh, both the front and the rear arms are now covered. They're covered on both sides. They're covered all the way over to the lights. The guy's really thought about what he's doing here. He's spent some time doing a bit of trial and error by the looks of things to make sure everything fits beautifully. Uh, I'm no way uh, in any means a professional <laughs> installer of vinyl. But this is going really easy. The parts are cut beautifully. And whereas a lot of drone uh, 
vinyl kits wouldn't even contain all of what's in here so far as you can see we're sort of not even halfway yet there's a lot more to do to properly cover this thing up and make it look beautiful so let's continue on and uh, see what's next coming together nicely now a bit more on the front started to fill in some of the spaces underneath next we're going to fill in side pieces here with them bits okay so here we are so far very impressed with the cut and the fit and also the ability to lift it off and reapply it if need be uh, and the coverage as well obviously there's going to be seams but the seams are where the seams are in the plastic mouldings like a sports car red almost but yeah so that's the top done that's most of the bottom done the next part is the actual motors and legs so uh Let's get into it with these bits here. So here we are, all finished up. As I said, most of uh, the previous black has covered over. There's the odd little spot on the seams or where there's a, a cut to make relief. Uh, but just looking at it, it looks beautiful. There's uh, no marks in it. The vinyl was cut perfectly. It's good quality vinyl that you can use and stretch and do stuff with. Uh, very good. It was uh, superb to put on. I'm no expert at vinyl and uh, normally get the odd air bubble or two or wrinkle. Uh, but this stuff went on superb. So if you knew what you were doing, the quality of finish you could get would be amazing. Um, but yeah. So it completely transforms the way the drone looks and the batteries. Sort of wish I'd got the headset cover now. So as I mentioned before, these are made by a guy called Daniel at a company called Dankler Skins. There'll be a link in the description below. Daniel at Dankler Skins. Uh, give him a shout. He's got loads of different styles for you. And uh, he does a good job. So stay tuned, subscribe, like and share and I'll catch you on the next one.